What's up, everyone? It is episode four of Bio Bonanza. Today, we're going to look at some actual parts of the cell. Yes, you guys have been reviewing exactly what these cells do, but I want to come up with some comparisons because that's the best way for me to remember anything. What do you think, Butters? Ah, he's not talking today. Okay, whatever. Let's move on. Here I have a cell. It is blank with some lines, and I'm going to go ahead and move some things around and tell you what they are. All right, example number one. Example number one, write this down. This is the nucleus. The nucleus, if we were to compare it to anything, the nucleus would be more like a brain. It kind of bosses the rest of the cell around and tells them thing what to do. It hands out the messages. It also stores the information in the cell. Pretty important. All right, example number two. We're going to go ahead and look at one of the most important parts of the cell right there. It is the mitochondria. Example number two, mitochondria. This bad boy actually makes energy from food that you eat. This is where cellular respiration takes place. Hey, hey, don't eat that. Stop it. Come here. All right. The next one I'm going to point out to you. Notice I have FedEx and Kinko's. Well, a cell has to have a way of packaging and shipping things in and out. And this is how it does it. It uses the Golgi apparatus. This is example three. Golgi apparatus. Sometimes often labeled the Golgi body. All right. Moving on. Let's see here. Let's do this one. This one's kind of funny because it has a funny name. This is example number four. This is the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum. Funny name, right? Well, you see I've chosen a picture with some guys working on a car, like a car factory. This is where things like proteins and lipids are made in the cell. The cell is pretty much surrounded in a lipid, so when things break, they have to be remade, they're made here, and then they're sent on down to the Golgi body, and then the Golgi body sends it to places where they need it. That's how they work together. All right, this is example number five. Well, when things get damaged or things need to be rearranged, they go to these guys. These guys are the lysosomes. Lysosomes contain digestive enzymes. Example five, lysosomes. They digest things, they recycle them, and they put them to better use somewhere else. That's why I'm using the recycling symbol here. All right. In class tomorrow, you guys will be doing an activity where you guys will be making analogies for the actual cell itself. And I will probably introduce you to your new project, which will be due after your test on Friday. So don't forget to study. All right. This is the last example. Tonight's illegible black metal name is the Black Dahlia Murder. I'll see you guys tomorrow.